Today we're going to be taking a look at the Gigabyte GeForce GTX 1660 Ti. This little card here comes clocked at 1500 megahertz on the core, 1500 megahertz on the memory, it has a 6 gigabyte memory buffer. This is GDDR6. This little card currently goes for around 280 US dollars and although the back plate is fully made out of plastic so is the shroud around the heat sink it does have a nice aesthetic look to it i dig the uh, matte black you know, all around the graphics card and you know the cooler is pretty decent it usually stays around 73 74 degrees celsius when fully loaded and after hours of playing video games uh, only one eight pin connector so don't have to mess with the mess of wires there so let's go ahead and get this torn down and also run a couple of benchmarks I wanted to take a look at the PCB on the car just to make sure that I didn't have any tall heat sinks or something, some capacitors that may be in the way of me installing a aftermarket cooler on the card in case I wanted to do that in the future. So I wanted to get familiar with the PCB layout on the little card. So this is the primary reason why I am doing this tear down here. The thermal paste works great. I don't have any complaints. I mean, the temperature is staying relatively nice. Um, the card runs pretty quiet so you know being hovering around 72 73 degrees celsius that's pretty good on my book nothing to complain about there so i really don't need to change the thermal paste but i am going to do it obviously because if you do take the cooler apart you want to replace the thermal paste you don't want to use the stuff that was already there in the first place i'm going to also be keeping the already uh, existing thermal pads there's no real need to replace those they are you know pretty good shape so we leave those alone and besides there's not much of a difference that you're going to gain from going from the stock thermal pads to say aftermarket thermal pads really isn't a big difference there so there's no real benefits unless the thermal pads are old they're brittle and it's just falling apart then yeah you know if they're damaged that bad then yeah replace them but other than that you know there's no real reason to get rid of those Removing the heatsink is actually quite simple. You got four main screws around the GPU and you got two more screws that hold down the heatsink on the VRM area there. Uh, quite simple. Also at the very back you have a kind of a, this is actually the first time that I see this. Uh, maybe some of you guys are familiar with this or have seen it in the past, but for me this is the first time that I actually, if you look at the back here of the graphics card, I don't know if you can see it there, but you actually have um, kind of like a male and female type of uh, uh, connection going on there where you have uh, plastic pins going inside of plastic holes there which is that that kind of serves as a retention system there there's no screws as you can see there there's no screws to remove there in the back it's just it just goes in and kind of just holds it in place kind of a funny setup but that's what gigabyte decided to go with and apparently it works so yeah that's uh that's the uh, first one for me. And as you can see here, Gigabyte is uh, going with a one heat pipe setup here on this little heat sink. And if you look really close there, oh, you'd actually, you don't even have to look too close. You can see the imprint of the heat pipe right in the center of the GPU die. Now that tells me that the heat pipe is actually making more contact, a tighter contact there on the, on the GPU die than the surrounding area, the aluminum area. Now, is that a concern? Uh, not really. I mean, that's why you do have thermal paste, you know, to fill in those gaps. Would it be nicer? Would it not nicer? That's not the word that I want to use, but would it perform better if you had all even contact? Uh, I think, I think so. Yeah, you know, it, it, I think it would, but um, I'm not going to be too concerned with that. I am using pretty good thermal paste. And so far, by the looks of it, this setup here, this configuration seems to be working for Gigabyte because the card does stay pretty nice and cool and quiet. So it works, even though they are using just one little heat pipe that goes all the way around the front to the back of the heat sink. But uh, again, it is working for Gigabyte, so I'm not going to give them crap for that. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get this stuff here cleaned up. Let's get this gunky stuff removed out of the way and... Um, uh, put some new thermal paste on this thing.
So for thermal paste, we're going to be sticking with Prolimitex PK3. This is a great thermal paste. I have no complaints with this product. Um, it does have great th thermal conductivity of 11 watts per meter Kelvin. So yeah, that's what we're going to be using today. All right, guys, so here's the card put back together and in the system. This is my test system, and this is where I keep this little card for the meantime until I get my next GPU. But um, yeah, everything's looking great. Temperatures are looking as they should. So let's go ahead and run some benchmarks just for kicks and see how it performs.
all right guys so as you can see temperatures are looking pretty much the same nothing changed um, I did notice that the the frequency does boost a little higher than before and that may be due to the new thermal paste I'm not exactly sure there but um, yeah the 1660 Ti looks like a little champ uh, except for here in Ghost Recon's uh, Wildlands you know we're not not a very good performance there but it is a pretty demand demanding video game so I'm not gonna blame the car for that but uh, yeah I'm gonna leave it here guys I hope you did enjoy the video even if it was just entertaining please hit thumbs up don't forget to subscribe let me know in the comment section what you guys think about the little card. Is this something that you would possibly think about shopping for in the future? Let me know. Let me know what you think. I'll see you guys in the next one. You take care now. Bye.